Peace family. I hope you guys are happy and healthy and doing well. This is going to be a kind of like a garden tour. I'm going to kind of walk around and show you guys what is going on and what's coming back in my yard. So we'll start by the door. Catalea is showing new life. Look at her. We are so proud. So we'll definitely do a better job of covering her up because look at all the progress that she had made. I don't think anything is going to come back. Here, I think she's starting all the way from the bottom, which is fine. Uh, of course, I need to come over and weed and everything, but just like in our yard, the comfrey looks beautiful. And our guava looks a little rough, but if you look down, 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 there's still some green there. So hopefully, he will be coming back soon. Are gonna walk around over here to the blood orange uh, the blood orange I scratched it I don't know if I could show you the scratch right here and it was still green uh, okay I don't think it's gonna focus but hopefully you can see the green tint so that's good i have some ugu seeds sprouting in the greenhouse and as we all knew the longevity spinach is coming back so the only thing that i will have to do is come and just cut back all these dead parts and let it grow and spread like it normally does and i might take a cutting or two to start for my delivery greenhouse it's looking brown but it's okay um, my passion fruit is not showing signs of life yet. I'm going to show you guys this, which is empty. Actually, I came and found a sweet potato in here that we had missed before, and it was about to start growing. It, was, it had sprouted. But cats have been pooping in here. If you guys have been watching us for a while, um, like when we stayed with mommy, cats was a really bad issue. And because this garden bed is now empty, the cats have been here. So what we did was pulled out these peppers, the dead peppers, and just laid them in because cats don't really normally bother the bed when stuff is growing or if it's, you know, not a lot of like open fluffy soil, which is what we had right here. So I had to take the time to sit and dig that cat poop out. And y'all know I don't play that. So, yeah. Uh, Lou Boo is here. Just got trimmed back. It'll definitely be back. There's weeds everywhere. And I haven't been here for a while. So you're kind of discovering it with me. It's been cold and rainy and winter and busy and everything. I see my dill came back from last year, which is super exciting. Um, and it is spreading, as you can see over here and there. And then the rest of this bed is pretty much empty these are all weeds and i'm just letting them spread for now because i'm not growing in it right now i'd rather those kind of cover the soil up and keep it functioning keep it healthy um while i'm waiting to plan to plant in here i will definitely add you know compost and all that good stuff and i can't wait to see how this bed uh, grows this year but check this out guys we thought we lost all our greens and this one is coming back from life i mean coming back to life <laughs> we are super grateful for that um we did lose the red russian kales and the other greens but this is gonna be nice and hold us over so i'm making plans for this bed right now uh, my blueberry could use some love. It needs some weeding. I'm going to come and put some coffee grounds, some berry tones, some compost, and um, more pine needles in here. And then I still need to pull this thing out. This is something that just decided to grow up in here, which is so disrespectful. And I'm going to step back because the blackberries need a trellis, Okay. They're so happy and healthy. They're just going everywhere. They're all over the blueberry. So we're going to work on getting a trellis to kind of help direct these into the right place. There's the other blueberry. It's not showing signs of life yet. 
Everybody has weeds in there. This was the blood, another blood orange. Oh, that's what I had that big pot for. I'm just remembering with you guys. Alubu is cut down for now. But they're already starting to come back. I'll show you here. The alubu is like a survival food for sure. Alubu, longevity spinach, they're going to feed you while you figure everything else out. And I love that about them. This is probably the most healthy plant in the yard right now. It is big and beautiful. This is the curly kale. And I'm loving it. I'm going to try to do some kale chips with that. We also have... Uh, the parsley, I think you guys planted this parsley in here with me. Or either I showed you after I planted it. I planted this and then two rosemaries, which are still looking dormant. And then there's other stuff just in here. This was a dinosaur kale. He might be actually dead this time. But we'll see. We'll give him a little more time. And this is kind of an empty slate a little bit. Some of these will come back. And some of these spaces I will need to fill in. Oh, let me back up. I almost didn't show you guys the pomegranate. Still dormant right now. And the peach. So I'm going to come over here. Our next video at Mommy's house is probably going to be me building this peach tree guild. But as you can see, the peach looks happy. It's got a few blooms on it starting to wake up. Um, this one is a different variety than the one we have at our house. This one is the Florida Dawn Peach. So, um, ours is an early flowering peach, which is why it has so many flowers already. So, I can see the Brussels sprout coming back. So, I'll probably just cut that big old branch and let it grow up tall. I don't think this other one is coming back and we are fine with that. Uh, it did serve us well for the time. Got some free space and I can see the oregano coming back. I need to come and cut it, you know, cut the brown parts back. Throw some compost and stuff down here and I'll back up so you guys can see the grape. I still need to learn how to prune the grape. So if you guys know how to prune grapes or if you know a great video, tag it below because I'm going to need to learn that before my grape is uh, comes out of dormancy. I think that's about it. Um, it's still kind of wintry and this garden reflects that. So um, I will bring you guys along as we build this garden up by springtime, by April, May, June. Oh, it's going to be so green, so abundant and so beautiful. Everyone's going to be eating from this yard. And by the way, today is my anniversary. I started my dating my husband 16 years ago today. So I'm going to go celebrate and I'll see you guys later. Peace.